This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Now let's go back through these objectives one by one, and I'll suggest some means to efficiently achieve them. So efficiently, in fact, that just one dedicated person could probably achieve a fifth of this stuff by herself. Objective one, setting up a functioning, effective strategizing process. Well, that means probably electing a strategy or electing a strategist. Crowdsourcing the strategies themselves probably means starting some sort of interactive documents and polls. Some very accessible and easy way for our whole movement to vote on a given strategy. Do you have any ideas? Are there any good websites for doing this kind of thing? If not, you might just be stuck with my ideas. Because, yeah, they expect you to have a social security yeah. card, so. Objective two is increasing publicity 50%, uh, you know, from, from this year uh, above, above last year. Uh, these steps would get us there. In no particular order. Step A, get a secession bill in front of the state house, in front of a committee, at least, during 2013 or 2014. Back it up with a rally of at least 100 people, news releases, mainstream media coverage. Have Free Talk Live's PR gal do some of the PR work, since she has proven effective for Free Talk Live. This sequence of actions has a price. It's somewhat controversial because it's a session. Uh, and it's not quite consistent with the Free State Project's secession neutrality. But it should get us the PR we need toward the PR goal for a month or two. It might constructively shift the national debate some in the process. It's also necessary to submit doomed bills like this a couple times before they become law. So no time like the present to start. Despite my leeriness over secession, even I can see we may someday desperately need such a bill to become law. I feel the bill should only be submitted if volunteers are ready to underwrite the bill process, its $2,000 cost, to be heard and probably killed. Taxpayers shouldn't be forced to fund it. Is this possible? Can a bill be submitted without any expense? I don't know. Step B, execute at least one textbook civil disobedience event between May 2013 and May 2014. One that equals or surpasses Mike Fisher's illegal manicure. By that, I mean it follows the Fisher model. One likable and strategic person plans to defy a carefully chosen law. The bureaucracy and media are informed about a week in advance with a carefully crafted news release. She visually hey, violates the law around. in public stop. at a predetermined time. Crowd and maybe media hey, 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 hey. Lately, our civil disobedience has become disorganized and spontaneous. That's useful, but we still need Rosa Parks type activity, which, which is well planned. This one should be designed and orchestrated with a mind to see a law repealed. So follow-up would probably be needed in the form of a state house bill within a year of the act. The bill, I'm sorry, the, the bill will need to come up probably about three times over a six-year period before it can be expected to become law. Uh, if we, we need follow-up, we'd need to submit it probably three times before it, expecting it to become law. Also, I'd, I'd stress how important the wording of the bill would need to be. We need to write it ourselves and only support its wording after a full and public vetting process. It absolutely should not be an addition of new text to an existing law. It should be an elimination of text, a repeal of something. Trust someone who has been through the process. I'm describing what I've learned the hard way. Anyway, if you look at the video description, you'll see our old thread of civil disobedience ideas back when I was plotting and executing civil disobedience more often. From that, you might get an idea for good civil dis. Step C on our road towards 
the media publicity increase. Uh, let's say NH Liberty Media boosts its overall listenership and viewership by 50%. You can probably help make this happen by donating to Free Talk Live's AMP program, by moving one or two of our better unknown podcasts into the light, and by promoting my vids on Facebook and so forth. I was planning to take action of my own to try and boost the Ridley Report by 50% during this period, but I'm not sure I can pull it off. I'm pretty well maxed out on the Ridley Report right now. There is something else I'm doing, though, new and different, which I'll get to later. This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your Bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com